Hey everyone, Christian here, and i uh, got a little bit of light shining on this palm because it's getting a little bit dark out here. But uh, this is going to be, this is an interesting version of the African oil. This is the entire leaf. It's a mutated form of the original African oil. As you can see here, it has these leaflets that, this is, they're very narrow, but they're webbed. They have no, um, the leaflets do not separate. You can see down here where they kind of separate and have a window to them but they're considered this it's a it's just a mutation it's basically the african oil the mutated form and this is um a rare form of the species that basically it uh is it was found in asia somewhere and it seems to come fairly true to seeds which is actually kind of interesting so i'm in a very tight area i can't uh move around very much i'm actually kind of on a hill so I'm, if i don't get the best uh angle here i apologize it's just a kind of a dense forest here but uh, the original African oil is obviously native to uh, most of West and Central Africa, of tropical West and Central Africa, and can be found a lot throughout Florida, especially older gardens. Um, this mutated form, I've only seen the two or three of in Florida. And from what I have, have seen and read about on uh, palm forms uh, that exist in Asia, that this form is actually um, pretty uncommon, but does actually come true from seed. It just, it's considered interesting but not very uh desirable and maybe in asia so in america people find it very interesting because it is obviously much different it almost looks like a banana a banana fronds put atop a, a palm crown so this one has doesn't have any clear trunk yet um, i imagine it doesn't grow nearly as fast as a regular african oil because they're pretty fast growers palms that tend to be variegated mutated or otherwise just different from the original tend to not grow as fast uh, because they tend to have some sort of deficiency or genetic issue that doesn't allow them to grow as fast as the original. So, um, for example, here you can kind of see there's a little bit of segmentation. That might have been from wind, but on the newer leaves up here, you can see growing upward, they pretty much stay entire until they very last uh, maybe 10% of the, the length of the frond. They have almost no petiole, even though they're growing in the shade. And then when they start, usually African oils, as you can see, they have these thorns here, but they almost, the thorns almost hold, oh, there we go. The thorns almost hold the sleeves of the leaflets. Yeah, I gotta get my finger and uh, move them at the same place as the camera there. That's actually probably a better angle to see that. So the thorns are actually kind of holding the sleeves of the leaf in, and that slowly goes away. The window kind of disappears. It's almost like the the window entirely version of the African oil, which I think is pretty neat. <clears throat> From what I've seen, the seeds look the seeds look identical to the uh, the regular African oil, but um, you can see a lot of this this nice bronze color on the back of the, the rakes as well. And it stays more upright; it's not as floppy. But then again, the crown is not as thick. So it has this awkward look that almost looks like a palm from, say, a video game or a cartoon rendition of what a palm would look like. Basically, again, a banana s sat atop, sat, yeah, sitting atop a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a palm crown. So it still has all the fibrous trunk that uh, African oils have when younger. And uh, I imagine, uh, again, it flowers in the same fashion as a regular uh, African oil, but I can't tell you for you know tell you for sure so but the the fronds themselves are quite neat um i've seen these from what i can tell these seem to come true true to seed uh most of the time obviously they can cross pollinate with regular african oils and that genetic defect or um whatever defect may be in there may not pass on entirely and may be like kind of halfway between but uh, it's kind of unknown why this happens, but it just seems to happen. Uh, I, I'm sure that there's a botanical explanation. I could look it up and kind of send it after the fact. But for now, these are kind of just considered uh, kind of like redheaded stepchilds of, of, the, of the palm world because they're just kind of unknown. And they're, they're, they're just, they're desirable. People do enjoy them, collectors especially. But as far as, you know, there's there's tens of millions of these things in cultivation for palm oil which is what they're known for but these are not desired because they don't grow and mature the same way that the uh the regular uh feather you know pinnate leafed uh segmented form does so um 
it seems to have the same cold hardiness or cold sensitivity, I should say. It's definitely a zone 10 plant. It does seem to die back from uh, frost and freezes, but it, it will grow right back. This seems to be very uh, trunk hardy. And I've seen African oils in general um, basically, you know, have be completely defoliated to the point they look dead and then they just grow right back from the crown, even from temperatures as low as 25, 26 degrees. So if you notice here, this is kind of a bronze copper, a kind of a darker, uh, almost purple color. And then here they kind of, it comes away. So that seems to go away with time. Um, I'm not, I haven't never, I don't really double check a lot of African oils, but I think that that's, you know, I, that seems to be just a, an age thing where the newer uh, fronds will have that color. So if you're looking to get one of these, I'm going to acquire some seed from one of these um, overseas and we'll see how the seeds, how they germinate and how they come up. You can tell right away because the leaf will be entire um, or at least it'll not segment and uh, we'll see where that goes. But yeah, this is the, the crown of the African oil and it is quite di different than the than the original so i think i have a video on the original if not i'll go ahead and make one obviously i don't want to keep just the just the mutated form and not have a, a uh, video on the original african oil palm so anyway i think that's about it for the uh the mutated uh entire leaf variation of the african oil so if you have any questions or uh comments on it go ahead and leave it down below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel go ahead and press the subscribe button and you'll see many more palm review videos like this and hope everyone has a nice day.